Oh, we're we're good. Good. Oh. There we go, got him as well. Right. Oh. <laughs> right, we're a bunch of trolls. Guys, today, what do you reckon? Predictions? Genuinely? 2 1. 2 1. 1 0. 2 1. 2 1. 2 1. Just. 2 1. A lovely win after beating Wickham. Yeah. 4 2, which was a marvellous result. Yeah. Wonderful. We, we do really badly against shit sides, so if we play Chance here, we'll probably win about 4 0. So, okay, but yeah. against us, tough a game. I will but genuinely say I'm one telling you now, 2 1. And who's been Put your money you? on 2 1. <laughs> who's been informed this season for you guys? Charles, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Charles. Charles, yeah. No, no, can I'll can I sing a song? Someone scored a goal. Dion Charles. No, I'll tell you now. Someone scored a goal. Dion Charles. Someone scored a goal. Dion Charles. Oh, Lord. No, this is great. Dion Charles. Charles. Great song. We have a player in our team. Well, and he is a goal machine. <laughs> and his name is Dion Charles. Dion, Dion Charles. It used to be John Byron. Which you won't fucking remember. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you no, I'll tell you no China, a good side, yeah? Good China, a good side, but. Yeah. We generally, on paper, have the best midfield in the full league. Yeah, obviously. We have Dems, our best centre back, we have Santos and Tall. These come near, just switch over. Cameraman, stay. Nobody else. Cheers. Yeah, so obviously. We have the best midfield in the league by far, like yeah. genuinely. We're not doing as well as we should be doing. We have Tall and Santos at the back. We, we should be beating every team in the full league. Yeah, we I'd should be. First half, we'll be. play like no team you see all season. But second but half, we, we'll be off. I, we'll be I, second I, half, so hopefully that I works went, out for I us. Went, yeah. I went 26 away games with Bolton last year, and we was awful like for about 50% of them. So yeah. whether we show up or not, if we do show up... Yeah, we've been finished. starting well recently, but we've been ending awfully. So if we show up today... You know, and we start bad, end good. So hopefully it was, should be an interesting game then. Yeah, it'll be, it'll like I said, good Charlie, we're a good side. You've not started the season well. If no. we start well today, we'll, we'll beat it. Not doing well. Is it three of the last five you've won? We um, won four of the last no, five. No, we're, we're only in form actually. We lost the last one, but we didn't lose for like seven games all before right. that. So we're doing all right actually now. But right, we're not too much longer because we've got a game soon. soon. Just to the camera, what's your names? Doing them, mate. Nathan. Nathan. Uh, Jake. Legends, cheers. Well, enjoy the, enjoy the game, all right? Take care, Take care, lads. Cheers. Bolton. All from Bolton, what's your name, chap? Aiden. Aiden. Lewis. Lewis. Christy. Christy. Adam. Adam. And Dan. Dan. Right, guys, predictions today. Scores. Four apiece, Charles Fescora. Four apiece, Charles Two one, two one, Bolton. Two one, two one. Three one, three one. Three one. Eight nil, Bolton. Bloody, that's optimistic. Right. <laughs> and who's, who's scoring today? Who's the danger people? Dion Charles. Charles. Dion Charles, eight. Yeah, it's a cracking player. you got Charlie, uh, what's he called? May. Yeah. Alfie mate, yeah, 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 brilliant yeah, player yeah, as well. Very yeah. quite, quite he'll, similar. He'll, he'll score your horses. Yeah. Joe, Joe, it's just and, um, male score. How have you been getting on the season? You, you know, if you're doing well, doing bad, how do you expect? Playing, playing well, playing well. Don't, don't take chances. Should be doing better. Should be doing better. Should be doing better. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. Dominate most long. games. Some conscious thoughts missed the game. Yeah, yeah. Dominate most games, but don't take chances. I think leave it on Bolton and Charlton, friends together, together in friendship. Prediction rest of the season. Prediction. Go on. We're going up. Top We're going up. Top We're going up. Top We're going up. Thanks so much. See you later. Apparently there was a chance at the start, I missed, uh, from us. But that was like the first real chance from Bolton, really, apart from the uh, little double save by Ash that weren't really much, to be fair. But yeah, good goal on the rewatch on the video. Um, 
yeah, Randall Williams, bowl one nil. It's been done in the midfield. Uh, Lincoln City done us in the midfield. These are doing us in the midfield. It don't surprise me because um, Bolton are good midfield anyway. Um, Fred, what do you reckon? <laughs> That's it from Fred. I didn't see our attempt. He saw it. But, um, yeah, two 0 Bolton. Early doors, but my word, got a lot of work still already. Just a quick note on that ball. I, I don't know if I get it, but that Santos, the centre back for Bolton, he's unbelievable. Like the same as last season, he wins every one on one. He's rapid, like he's strong in the air. Like I just wish I had something like Santos. What a player! Um, yeah, Dion Charles, goal scorer. Uh, still two 0 Still with Bolton. These lot got a right idea. You know, don't watch the game. Come in, have a little stroll around. They got a right idea. I'm surprised they still keep coming to the games, guys. Early doors, but this is like proper gutless. This is one of the most gutless home performances we've had so far. Um, May looks furious, there's no press, he's got no assistance up there. Yeah, this is shocking. Like at the start of the game, that lad is 8 0, I thought he was having a laugh, but um, certainly don't like we're going to score anytime soon, and I can't see him being 2 0 either, so yeah, it's not looking good. By the way, you're not going to believe this. This is the away team here, 2 0 up, and we look like we're holding on for dear life. Absolutely abysmal. Yeah. Let's get our off. Really struggling. too good. Uh, their midfield, they're, they're dominating us. They've had a number of chances. I think it could easily be 4-0 final up. Uh, not being, again, too harsh. 4-0, 5-0 wouldn't, wouldn't flatter them too much. Um, I think we'd be very lucky if we turn on the break. And I don't see what Afton can do to change it up because they look like they've got more strength on the bench than us as well. The only positive I'm going to take is that according to obviously their fans pre-game, they have good first halves and obviously bad second halves. So with that said, let's get Fred's input. Fred, what do you reckon? Um, Go on. Yeah. Two goals each Yeah. 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 Like fair play Fred, yeah, no, he's, um, he's pretty spot on actually, I didn't actually mention that, that the lack of desire is just crazy, like some of these players look like they can't be bothered, it's pedestrian, um, 
I love Dobbo as a player, you know, captain, brilliant player, but again, he's had one of days today and he's just not showing any sort of like um, commitment desire. He's not spurring anyone on. There's no leaders out there. That none of them look like bothered. The only one who's questioned the, uh, the press and the commitment is Alfie May up top of his own because he is. He's feeding off nothing. And uh, that's really it. Quite a long half-time pause for me. I just wanted to really stress that this is a really like, bad game of football from us. We are not ticking things together. We are under pressure. We look like the worst team. We don't look like the home side at all. They don't like the home side. Even when they were two luck, they were still on us all day. They did, the lads got booed out at half-time. Whether or not I agree with that, I don't know. But it was a tired performance. I'm going to leave it there get back into the game like I said I do not see us turn this round if we do I'll be pleasantly surprised I could barely even say come on Charlton to be honest but yeah second half coming up shortly we'll see uh, yeah kick off here we go come on Charlton Fair play, Charlton. Uh, second half look a lot look a lot better. Um, the subs made a bit of a difference. Watson's definitely more active on the ball. Just had a really good chance there. I wish May took a shot rather than pass it to Kamara. So I think Kamara's ready for it. I think May should just hit it on the volley, the half volley. Um, yeah, looking a lot better. Campbell's having a lot of luck down the right hand side. So we'll see. But my concern is now two 0 down. Is it too late? Have we left it too late? You know, looking at a draw at best maybe. Don't see the three goals, but. Um, yeah, decent second half performance so far. Oh, oh there's a witness in it, so I don't think the score it. They got a presence for it. That's it. Oh, that's unlucky. Paul's oh, on the break here, big time. Well done, Jones. Good anticipation there by Jones. Come on, Charles, just three more goals in. Three minutes. Come on, lads, you can do it. Full time here. Right, full time. Charlton nil. Bolton two. Uh, yeah, just a real shocking day at the office again. Uh, back from obviously Lincoln. Uh, no bounce back performance at all. I was going to get Fred involved, but Fred is reduced to tears, he's inconsolable, so I can't get him in the video as well, unfortunately. He's Alright, he's eating McDonald's, it's a bit of a liar by me. Right, anyway, jokes aside, wow, well, what to say. First half performance from Bolton, and us, completely two different, you know, teams. Like One team was full of energy, commitment, had skillful players on show, and seemed like they wanted it, seemed like the home side, seemed like they actually came for purpose. The other team looked like they couldn't be fucked, it felt like... Uh, the latter end of a Charlton mid-table season uh, when we're you know just going through the motions not really playing properly we probably just sacked the manager or we just have a new manager I, I don't know uh, but yeah just for like a completely uncommitted Charlton team uh, I can't honestly credit any player from the first half uh, maybe Brewer because he kept it from being about about 4-0 maybe and uh, Alfie May as well uh, very vocal um, obviously that that's not everything but he was demanding uh, more from his players. He was telling us to fall back, like come. Well, sorry, not fall back. Pressure Bolton in possession. He was on his own. He was feeding off scraps. Um, yeah, so only two players that get any sort of credit from me in that first half. Uh, second half, um, as expected, because the Bolton fans sort of gave us that 
um, insight in the pre-match uh, interviews with the uh, fans that their team tends to fall apart a little bit second half. Uh, fortunately, for, fortunately for them, we're not that kind of team that can capitalise on that. And they coasted it still pretty much. They still had a few more chances that I didn't quite get on camera. A uh, few chances that went just about wide to say about those two of them. So they easily could have got at least two more goals in the second half. We had our chances, yeah, and certain players looked a bit better. Obviously, Frazier coming off was quite a big deal because just got flashed tremendously. Uh, yeah, Fr Frazier coming off was quite a big deal because he had no energy. He was barely making a run, so Watson coming on was a, was a lot better for us. And Tyrese Campbell had more action, uh, more luck down the right. Yeah, there's nothing I want to talk about. Just, just I'll credit May because May tried. He, he pressed a lot. He ran a lot. As always, I feel like he just misses that strike partner, and he misses. No one really has the quality to read his runs. Like sometimes he'll receive the ball or do a one-two and ask for it back, and no one seems to pass to him. I don't think we have the um, the quality of pass to get that to him. Uh, credit to Ash. Ash made a decent double save, and just in general look, looked quite steady in terms of his shot stopping. Um, I wasn't really faulting for either of Bolton goals. I think they were both quite. Kind of unstoppable, really. Uh, great goals. And uh, that's it, really. That's it from me. Uh, credit to Bolton fans. Thought they were very vocal, very loud. Stood up. Stand up army, eh? Yeah, stood up. Stood up the old game. Uh, very vocal. Back their team. Rightly so. They've got a great team to watch. I don't blame them. I thought it was, you know, head and shoulders, the levels. I thought they were way better than us. If that's anything to go by, we've got no chance of getting promoted because, I mean, on paper, Portsmouth and Oxford looking like the front runners. You've got Barnsley knocking about, Peterborough, Bolton, and I expected Bolton to finish autos. And if you've got teams that are above Bolton last time I checked, maybe it's changed today, then yeah, we're in serious trouble. Um, I think at best, when you look at that golfing quality today, all over the pitch, you know, centre-backs, midfielders, strikers, Dion Charles, probably a similar level to Alfie May, I'd say. Uh, both really good forwards in their own right. So yeah, but other than that, sort of like a different level, Bolton tore us apart. I fully expect them to go up. I think if you finish above Bolton this season, like I said in my pre-match show, uh, you'd find yourself promoted and Fred should show me the table and they're currently third. So, as I said, if you finish above Bolton, you'd probably finish first or second in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so credit to them. Uh, we've got a long way to go. I think they're ready for the championship. Um, I don't want to be too negative. I, I'm expecting another season League One now. Uh, it was sort of a, bit, a big test, those two games. Big away game, big home game. No response from the team, and uh, I just don't think we've got the quality. Unless we have a very good January and sort of stay in the mix. And again, I don't want to be too harsh because prior to these two results, we were undefeated in seven. But I think a lot of that was there was a lot of masking results. Um, some teams really bang out of form. Some teams, obviously, um, you know, but near bottom, near the bottom of the table. Uh, yeah, just going to wrap it up. Spoke too much there, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you did watch, uh, torrid result. We go again. Uh, next game is an FA Cup at home. And next to what? Is it Pompey away? Next game. Pompey away will be there. I'll be there with George and Fred. Hopefully have a good day out. Hopefully you can always get a result at Fratton Park. We'll see. I think this time it's not going to happen. But we'll, we'll drive there with optimism. Um, if you're new to the channel, you, you watch this for the first time or what have you, uh, please uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'd really appreciate it. Sort of spurs me on to keep doing these videos. And um, yeah, that's it really. So we're out from here, gonna drive home.